In this podcast, we're going to look at how to record and insert an audio clip right within Desire to Learn using the Record Audio tool. Currently, in version 10.6, this tool is only available the News tool, the Discussion tool, and the Dropbox tool. So let's take a look at it. Here, I've got a new news item opened. And to record audio, you scroll down here to the bottom and there is an area called attachments and below that you've got the ability to add a file to record audio or record video and at the time of this recording the record audio is slightly different than record video in the sense that they've updated the recorded video to an HTML5 format whereas the record audio is still using flash. So when you click on the button to record audio, it's probably going to pop up and give you this message from Adobe Flash Player Settings. And by default, it is probably going to deny access. And all you really need to do is click over here, click on Allow, and then click Close. I now have the ability to do a recording. Now there is a three minute limit on recording length, but you could do multiple attachments if you want to go more than three minutes, or you could look at some of our other options as far as recording using a third party tool. Okay, to record, all I need to do is click the red button here, which has the little pop-up tool that says record there. So if I click on it, I go testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, to stop recording, you click the red button again. And then, if you want to listen to it, you can click on the play button. You'll notice that the recording was six seconds long. We've got a little clock here. I'm going to click on the play. Okay, now that I've listened to it, I want to go ahead and add that. To do that, I click the add button. And you'll notice that there is an attachment right here. And when I publish it, that's going to show up as an attachment to the uh, news item. If you decide you don't want it there, you've got the option here to delete it. And when you click on it, it's just going to strike through it. It's not going to disappear. It will strike through it, and then when you publish it, it will be gone. Okay, so that process is really simple. Let me go ahead and uncheck that so it'll stay on there and then let me go ahead and put in an announcement here we'll do audio welcome and then I'll just type in that and then we'll go ahead and publish it so you'll notice here I've got I did a previous version so it's showing up here but here is the um, audio clip that I just recorded so on the course homepage when the students come in they will see this announcement and there's a link here for them to click on if they click on it it's going to download to play it I would just click on that link and it's going to pop up now this is a Windows computer a Mac may act slightly differently so it's going to play that audio clip right there Okay, let's take a look at where that tool is located in Dropboxes and Discussions. So I've got a couple tabs open here. The first one is a Dropbox. I am inside of a Dropbox grading a paper, and you'll notice over here on the right-hand side, I've got a, I've entered in a grade, and right below the feedback box, there's a place to record audio. Process is the same. And when you click on record audio, it's going to add that clip just like it did on the news tool. Okay, so let's look at discussions. When you go in and you start a new thread, down towards the bottom here, you have a place called attachments and a record audio button. Once again, clicking at is it's going to be the same process as in the news tool. So that's the way you would record and insert an audio clip. For your students to listen to. If you need to go longer than three minutes, there's some outside tools that you can use. Uh, you can look at um, our podcast series on Audacity 
and uh, that's one tool that's free that you could use to insert longer clips or if you want to do like voiceover powerpoints or something like that this is really just for a, a quick recording so maybe um, a welcome message or a weekly update on what's going on in the news tool or maybe in the Dropbox you want to give them some audio feedback so that would generally be the purposes that you would use that for uh, right now.